Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first vlog that I've ever made so far, so I am kind of excited and nervous at the same time. So I've been getting so many messages on Instagram from my followers and also on YouTube from my subscribers asking me how I record uh, my covers. You know, dari segi equipmentnya apa, dari gitarnya, sound card, computer, sama sama cara mixing, sama cara editing, miking, taruh miki di mana dan lain-lainnya. Okay, so I'm gonna break it down for you guys. It's gonna be four videos, empat video tentang different stages of the creating a cover process. Yang pertama itu adalah rig rundown. Yang ketiga adalah setup process. Dan ketiga adalah recording process. Dan empat itu adalah post production process. So um, I'm gonna take you through each one, but there's gonna be four parts. And this is part one of how I record my covers. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my guitar here. This is my Cole Clark FL1AC Fat Lady 1 Acoustic C Nyatu Cutaway. This has been my guitar for seven years. I've had this guitar, guitar for seven years. It is my first, like, expensive guitar. I'm Yaku, but believe me, masih belajar. Uh, tapi aku memang beli alat itu buat uh, nahan ke depannya gitu. So I've had this guitar for seven years and as you can see, you know it's got so many scratches, so many love marks di sini juga at the back. Belt buckle scratches. <laughs> my neck itu udah banyak. Aduh, udah pernah jatuh, teman aku uh, jatuhin. Terus uh, ini juga, ini gak ada itunya buat colok, the, the screw dia di dalam tuh lagi kayak free gitu it's really, it's really sad but this cut guitar over time sounds so good like it sounds so so thick um, tebel karena uh, aku tuh suka gitar tuh yang suaranya tebel gitu jadi uh, senarnya itu aku ganti jadi aku di sini pakai 13 gauge so you have a light gauge, you have a semi light gauge, then you have a medium, and then you have a heavy. Uh, yang berat ini gauge nya yang 13. Jadi kalau kita mainin tuh suaranya tuh lebih lebih tebel. You know so um, juga nggak terlalu cempreng kalau aku really lean into it. And you know it's been like a uh, it's been through all the milestones in my life. You know I first started worship leading with this guitar. I use this guitar every time I worship lead. I've taken this guitar to so many events, and also you know this guitar has been part of our wedding with me and my wife. And also you know all the covers you always see this guitar, so this guitar is always with me. This pickup is so cool. It's so natural. Uh, there's something that I have to fix, and that is this. Ini sebenarnya harusnya di sini, ya. Yeah. Tapi, ya, yeah, that's why I always have this like coming out keluar dari sini like this video here you'll see. But it still sounds the same, so I'm still pleased with it. I haven't, aku belum cari screwnya. A friend of mine, Tony uh, or Anthony. Uh, he's an amazing, amazing guitarist. Like he's he's so cool. Um, so he told me that uh, wood kind of matures, makin kering, makin bagus suaranya. Jadi uh, dia dia bilang sama aku tuh masukin sachet sachet yang ada bola bolanya yang kecil di dalam biar nggak berembun ya. But you usually get it in like brand new products. Dia tuh sachet kayak kecil putih gini. Nanti aku I'll, I'll put it over here. Just so like you can see what it looks like. Um, tapi itu mengkeringkan kayunya, jadi makin makin mature. Uh, so that's what he told me, and I did it, and made my guitar sound so much better than what it sounded like. Uh, so thank you, Tony. Okay, next is my beautiful, beautiful Strat, one that I'll never sell. This is an amazing guitar. This is made in Japan. Uh, this has been with me for a while now. Uh, aku tuh suka banget nih gitar karena it's so versatile. I can use it for so many things. It's a pretty old guitar, tapi again, you know, I service all my guitars and I make sure it sounds 
sounds okay like even the cabling the soldering semuanya aku gantiin pickupnya uh, pickupnya aku ganti ke blonde lolar blonde um, pickups so that's my strap um, this is my Kurt Cobain Mustang limited edition guitar this is an awesome sounding guitar um, I bought this in like a, a bluish color like a like a baby blue color and after a while I got really old, I got sick of it I got a bit bored of it so I got pilok pilok yeah so plastic dip is a pilok that you know you can take it off so it's like rubber the, the black the black parts of it um, and you know it just adds another taste to it you know I just think it looks so cool um, especially when it's like brand new but well you know Ini juga buatan Jepang. You know, I love guitar that's made in Japan um, because the craftsmanship is so amazing. Okay, so this is my Gretsch Electromatic guitar. It's a hollow body guitar. This is one of my go-to guitars. I always, I usually use this guitar um, because again, it's it's a versatile guitar, and I can use this guitar for so many things for rhythm or lead. And I, I, I love this Bigsby Wendy Bar. It's so cool. You know, um, it does run out of tune a lot, um, but it's because I haven't, I haven't really serviced this car, guitar in a while. You can tell. Tapi ya, uh, ini the hollow body. Uh, yang aku nggak suka uh, gitar ini. What, what I don't like about the guitar, it's it's really heavy. I'm so well in a worship reading. Um, terus aku pakai gitar ini. Ini sering sakit. Di kalau aku pakai strap, kena berat banget. So. Um, for what it's worth, this guitar is a great sounding guitar, but there are some drawbacks Okay, so for my electric guitars, I use this This is the Hughes & Kettner um, Valve uh, Amp um, I usually run this through a quad box Marshall It's a 4x12 um, quad box, which is in my dad's house because I know it will not back out the apartment kita ini. <laughs> uh, what I love about this and why I got this is because it's got a red box DI and if those of you uh tahu red box red box makes one of the best DI's. Ini kalau uh, aku mau recording itu enggak usah lewat cabinet. Aku bisa langsung keluar di sini ke sound card dan suaranya masih bagus. Bagus banget. Jadi my brother bought this for me. Um, I haven't paid him back yet, but <laughs> um, I know he bought this for me, so uh, he just wanted to encourage me to play more guitar. This is a really cool head, especially if you're going around uh, tempat tempat, um, you know, gigging, apa misalnya uh, mau ke pelayanan, you know, cuma ditenteng, and it's not too heavy. Um, it's pretty good, and uh, but you have to watch out karena valve-nya bisa, it's very fragile. Okay, so that's all my guitars and. And um, an amp, an amp. Next up is microphones. So aku pakai ini. This is my Rode K2, K2 valve mic. Uh, my mum, mama aku beli ini. And you know she bought this for me when I was studying sound engineering. And uh, this mic has never failed. Like this is such a strong mic. And I recommend this mic for for vocalists, apa you know guitarists juga yang akustik. Um, yang aku suka ini gitarnya tuh di dalamnya tuh ada aku suka kalau ada valve karena suaranya tuh lebih warm dan ini itu di, di dalamnya tuh ada valve so it has a it's, it's a valve mic and it's a bi-directional mic jadi uh, ini bisa cardioid bisa omni sama juga bisa figure eight jadi bisa diganti-gantiin polar patternnya ini Transformernya dalam ini ada ada beberapa valve juga. Jadi uh, mikrofon ini keluarnya tuh nggak kayak 3 pin XLR. Jadi ini keluarnya tuh 7 pin. Jadi dia ada mic uh, kabel mic yang khusus buat ini ke sini. Ya terus keluarnya di sini. Terus masuk ke sound cardnya. But this is the power for this mic and of course like I said this is the K2 power supply. Jadi bisa pilih ini nol ini itu omni ini adalah cardioid and this is a figure eight jadi uh, omni itu 
visa capture everything around the room. Yeah, so Omni is capturing this. Jadi diaframnya tuh lagi nangkep banyak di sekelilingnya. Misalnya kalau cardioid itu cuma di depannya doang. Figure 8 captures the back and the front. Jadi misalnya kalau kalau ada mau dua vokalis bisa di sini sama di belakang atau misalnya mau micingnya mau kayak MS itu di depan kayak diginin terus ada cardio di depan. But you know, uh, this is such a versatile mic and I love this mic and I thank my mom for buying this for me because like, I always use this mic. I also have this mic here, it's a SE Electronics mic. It's not a very expensive mic, it's not the best mic, but uh, it's a good it's a good acoustic mic. Oh my gosh, okay nothing. So this is my big sky. This is my big sky, this is like my go-to river pedal. I love this pedal, it's such a clean pedal. Uh, dan reverbnya tuh bersih banget dan gak terlalu over. Um, ini banyak options that you have, you got cloud, you got shima, you got, uh, you know, you got spring, you got hall and room, reflections on, you can change banyak banget ini parameternya yang bisa diganti. I, I bought this for like 600 bucks, 560, 500, 600 bucks, uh, tapi it's so worth it, like when I bought this, um, I did so much research before I bought this, karena ini agak mahal banget ini buat box kecil gini, tapi uh, I don't regret not buying this Karena aku bisa pakai ini di piano Bisa pakai ini di uh, electric guitar and acoustic guitar Dan juga vocals So, this is a pretty good reverb pedal Okay, so Next one is my sound card Now, this sound card is a focus right uh, sound card It's a two track sound card Jadi ada dua input sama um, Level, it's got pads, and it's got line and instrument. Uh, I mean, this is a USB. This is a USB sound card. Uh, di belakangnya juga ada kayak MIDI. This is a pretty good start off. Ini kalau startnya pakai ini, it's not bad. Uh, this was about, I don't know, I think I bought it for like 200 bucks. 200 bucks, but ini pakai dua, uh, USB 2 uh, ke USB biasa. Uh, ini memang kalau Biasanya sih ini dipakai buat uh, main stage, buat di gereja Jadi uh, our keyboardist Cleary usually uses this uh, Buat recording audio tuh nggak terlalu berat ya Kecuali kalau pakai banyak plugin yang Kayak reverb, apa EQ, dan lain-lainnya um, Tapi uh, This laptop is very fast, it's very strong and reliable This has 16 gigs of RAM uh, It has 500 gigs of SSD hard drive space um, dan juga ini ya yeah, USB-C sih masalahnya USB inputs um, so there's not a lot of things that you could use it so we have to use a lot of ini uh, so that goes in here and it's just it's a bit annoying you know like having this thing connected to the sound card but you know, what can you do? I uh, haven't got any speakers yet. Uh, monitor, uh, dengar mixing. Uh, I just think it's not really. I don't really need it yet. Aku uh, pake. Um, so I use these headphones. These are Sennheiser uh, HD HD28. I think the thing is gone. I've had this for over six years now. These headphones. Um, and these headphones are so clear dan juga jernih banget I usually use this on live events atau buat um, in-ear monitor kalau main drum you know okay so uh, so that's like the sound stuff now to the video stuff um, I usually uh, would use my camera instead of my wife's camera my camera is a Sony uh, a6500 and I use a 1635 mil uh, f4 it's not really um, 1635 it's a crop frame but um, it's a very clear lens I always use this lens for like interviews if I'm working and stuff but uh, this setup is so compact and so easy to use um, but you have to get used to Sony a bit because the, the S-Log and all that takes a while to get your head around it 
And also, I use a tripod, uh, a, a cheap, tri cheap plastic tripod. I don't need anything expensive because it just it just holds the camera, and I don't usually take it outside. Jadi kalau di rumah tu apa apa. Aku juga pakai ini lampu LED light panel. Yeah, LED panel band band doors. Uh, aku selalu pakai lighting karena I love lighting, and you can tell the quality of something if it's got good lighting. Um, jadi uh, aku ada dua ini yang aku pinjam dari teman baik aku. Ini aku pakai satu lagi yang lagi pakai ini. Dia tu uh, very light, jadi enteng banget. Um, and it's called V-Lock batteries. Um, ini yang bikin beratnya sih ini sih sebenarnya, tapi this can last you for like four to five hours. Ini bagus terus charging ini cepat banget. Uh, this setup here is simple. Aku sih pakai the lighting setup that I have is something like this. So aku pakai uh, diffuser, terus lampunya di atas. So this is the camera that I use. Okay, it's a Sony A6500. It's a cool camera. It's very trustworthy, you can say. Nggak uh, banyak masalah. Nggak repot banget nih kalau pakai kamera ini. Uh, tapi cuma masalahnya kalau shooting 4K, baterainya cepet, cepet habis. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna talk about software. Aku suka pakai Premiere Pro dengan Adobe Creative Cloud. You can also use Final Cut X. Uh, you can even use i iMovie. Movie bisa, iMovie juga bisa dipakai. Karena cover aku tuh cuma satu shot gitu aja. Jadi itu nggak ganti-ganti uh, angle apa gimana. Jadi uh, it's, it's very simple really. Juga for the audio aku pakai Logic. Uh, kenapa aku pakai Logic? Karena I, uh, I usually use Logic. Dulu aku pakai Pro Tools uh, yang sound cardnya itu yang Pro Tools. LE dulu, Uf, I'm a Pro Tools 10, kalau nggak salah. That was such a long time ago. So, sekarang aku pakai Logic. There are other options. Option yang lain tuh bisa pakai GarageBand uh, that comes standard di dalam Mac, ini MacBook or Mac Pro or iMac or whatever. Uh, tapi I just feel like itu nggak terlalu in depth with the things that I want to do. Uh, that's the software. Uh, that I use. So that's about it, I think. Um, that's all the gear that I have apart from microphone stands and obviously microphone stands. So there's going to be another video after this, and I'm going to take you through the setting up process. Jadi itu uh, microphone placement, juga lighting setup, dan juga camera angle, dan uh, aku dan setting settingannya. So I'll, I'll take you through that in the next video. I hope this video explains a lot about what I use. Um, and hopefully this helped you somehow, I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you in the next video, in part two of how I record covers.